Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to change the uh, or check the PCV valve on a 2008 uh, RAV4. It's the 2AZ FE engine. It's the four cylinder engine. Um, basically, we check to see if it's working correctly. If it is, we leave it in. If it's not, then it's got to be replaced. Uh, it's the same procedure either way because you got to unscrew it and screw it back in again. Um, you can see the engine. There's our engine. First thing that needs to come off will be this cover over the valve cover. Okay, so there's only two nuts for that, two 10 mils right here and right here. So we're going to take that off, then I'm going to show you the piece, where the PCV valve is. Valve cover, uh, valve cover cover, <laughs> or the engine dressing, as I like to call it. Anyways, there it is. It off with it off. If you see right here, let me get the camera on that. Okay. Right there. That's the PCV valve. You got to detach this little clip here and then pull this hose off. This is a 22 millimeter deep socket if you have it. If not, use whatever you can to get on that. Maybe a, uh, an adjustable will do as well for you, okay? We'll see what we got and we'll go from there. Here's the clip, and then just pull on the hose. Pull on the hose after you get the clip off. There's the PCV valve exposed. My 22, but I don't have a deep socket, so I'm going to use this anyway. There's, there's, as you can see, as you can see, my socket doesn't go all the way in on that, but it doesn't matter. It gets enough of a bite on it to actually turn and get it off. I've had this valve off before, so it comes off easier than it does the first time. They recommend you change it every 36,000 miles, but here's the thing. If it works, why change it? There it is. And as you, as you can see, if I get it to focus in, as you can see, it's, it looks very clean. That's because I've just had this engine apart and cleaned every part of it. But I'll show you how to test this out. Okay, the next part, you cut your valve out, test it to see if it works. Might be a little gross for some people, but I don't know. But to me, it's nothing. First of all, clean it off nice, nice and nice. Get all the dirt and gunk off it if there's any dirt and gunk on it. Okay. You know, nice and clean. As you can see, get that in there. It is nice and clean. Okay, this is how a PCV valve works. It lets air out of the, the um, valve cover or the crankcase. It lets air out, but does not let air back in. So it basically it ventilates air out of the crankcase and it goes this way. So, way to do that, test this is, Blow into it. And if you can blow into it and it blows through, 
without well, with a bit of resistance, but you know hardly any. There'll be some. Then it's functioning in that direction. Now, the other thing you need to do is test it in this direction. And if you you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be able to blow in that direction, or there should be quite a bit of resistance blowing in that direction. It's the direction of a valve that's supposed to let air out this way. So it closes when I blow through it that way. Now, if you're worried about it, you know, or uh, if it's dirty, uh, you can just use some uh, carb cleaner, brake cleaner, whatever, and uh, squirt it through and get all the oil and residue that may be in there at. Okay? So, once again, you should be able to blow through it in the outward direction. And you should not be able to blow through it in the inward direction. In other words, in the direction that goes into the uh, valve cover or crankcase. Nothing. So, that valve's working just fine. I'm going to clean it a little bit with some uh, uh, carb cleaner and uh, I'm going to put it back okay. in. Got my carb cleaner. Just give it a little brake cleaner, carb cleaner, same thing. Walmart. About two dollars. So I'm going to spray it in a little bit there. The juice goes right through as it should. On this direction it shouldn't. And as you can see it doesn't. So best to go through this way. That's it. That's all you need. Clean it all off. You can hear it moving in there. And I'll get it in focus for you. There we go. You can see now it's spotless. So it wasn't very dirty in the first place. But and if you know anything about carb cleaner, it dries off very quickly. So, I'm going to test it one more time. Make sure it's working. Blows through. Does not blow through. One, di one direction. Air should blow through that way. Not that way. Do not suck on this. Because <laughs> a mouthful full of dirty oil is no fun. Just blow on it. Okay? and clean it too. Alright, the other thing I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put some Teflon tape on it. It came with some sort of green compound when it was first taken out and as you can see the compound's gone. I don't want to put thread lock or anything like that in there because you know what thread lock does. It makes it next to impossible to take off. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put some Teflon tape on there. Just a couple of bands on around it. Now, the trick to Teflon tape is, is you have to put it on in the right direction. Okay, so you want to twist the tape onto this, this way, like this, rotating it from the, I guess from the screen side, my left side, this way. That way, when you cut the tape, it will wrap around in the direction that the thread will not unwrap the tape. So a couple of turns, maybe two or three, and you'll have that, which will properly seal that. Sorry for the focus there. There we go. Properly seal that PCV valve. Then you just put it back in, and then you're done. I'm going to put it back in and show you that in reverse. Okay, so next thing. I'm going to put that puppy back in. It's functioning just fine. There's no need to replace it. So, as you as you know, I tested it out and showed you how to test it. Put a little bit of uh, Teflon tape around it, pipe tape. Goes in here. Hand tighten it. As much as you can. About as far as I can get it like that.
Take your 22, use it, gives you a little bit more leverage. I believe this valve cover is made out of aluminum, so don't over torque it. It's not a high pressure item anyways. Just get it down snug and that should be good enough. Now remember, I'm, using a sh I'm not using a deep socket 22 millimeter uh, socket because I don't have one. But this works just fine, you just have to be careful with it. So, put the socket on and you won't be able to get your ratchet all the way in because, hey, there's a nipple sticking out of the back. And make sure we're going the right way with that. We are. As you can see, I hand paint it even more because I don't have a deep socket. So we'll go tight all the way to the there we go. See as you can see my ratchet doesn't go all the way in but it gets enough of a bite on it. Tighten it up. Like I said, not super tight. This is aluminum you're you're bolting into. Okay so there you go. Snug tight. Take your hose, as you can see the hose goes down to the intake manifold. Push it on. Take your little clip. Sorry if my hand gets in the way guys, but some of these steps do take two hands. Okay, there's the clip, locking it on. Nice and tight. That's installed, and now you put your valve cover dressing or cover, as I call it. Call it. it makes it look nice and pretty. It also supposed to. It's also supposed to uh, quiet the engine down a little bit by insulating it. Okay. So. Again, always hand tight first. Why? Because that way you know you're not cross-threading these little puppies. I'm using an air wrench, but it doesn't matter. You don't need an air wrench. This is easily done with any kind of 10 millimeter socket. There we go. Tighten it. There we go. You want to get scientific on it, do it to the right tightness. You're going to need what they call a torque wrench. This is a special torque wrench. Well, they're all special, but this one goes to inch pounds. Not foot pounds, inch pounds. 10 millimeters usually take eight, 80 inch pounds. So I'll put that on there, do it to spec. Not that it really matters. There, obviously I over tightened it. So I'm going to loosen them and do it right. Air tools are nice for taking bolts off, but not really accurate for putting them back on again. And I like to be too spec. Okay, so here we go. That's 80 inch pounds, not foot pounds. There we go. Okay, thanks for watching. That's how you check or change the PCV valve on a 2008 RAV4. Uh, the engine type is the 2AZ-FE, um, which is similar to other Toyota engines. So if you have another Toyota engine, that's where it'll be. Uh, you, I believe you can buy the PCV valve new from Napa. Uh, make sure you're getting the right part for your car, though. Thanks for watching.